Cabby Yerksa was the first white settler in the area that is now called Desert Hot Springs in 1913. Cabby Yerksa first lived in a 160-acre homestead that had no roof, no floor, no windows, no bed, no door, and no stove. He cooked on a campfire later. In 1914, he started building Eagle's Nest Cabin. He eventually was able to save $10 to buy a donkey, which he named Merry Christmas. In need of water, he dug a well near his home and discovered hot mineral water right outside his door. 600 yards away, he dug another well and discovered the pure cold water of Mission Springs Aquifer. The two wells, one hot and one cold, led Cabot to name his homestead Miracle Hill. In 1944, he started working on a Hopi Indian style Pueblo. The Pueblo was four stories tall. It had 35 rooms, 65 doors, and 150 windows. Today, Cabot's Pueblo is open to the public. It is a museum and a state point of historical interest. Cabot Yerksa died in 1965. Cabot is one of the three men who were credited with the founding of Desert Hot Springs.